All right, crew, today I wanted to teach you how to check and make sure that your motherboard and CPU are registering your ECC RAM. Now, you definitely want to go to the vendor's like qualified list and look at your motherboard and look at the CPU combo to make sure that one, they're paired, and then two, to look at the different speeds and different brands of ECC compatible RAM, right? And then buy those and stick them in your computer. But then beyond that, how do you, how are you, how do you make sure that those... Um, those combinations are actually working, you use PowerShell. And here's what we're gonna look at today. So I'll go ahead and put these in the descriptions so that you can just copy and paste these, but go ahead and launch your PowerShell command. You can simply just hit the Windows key and type in PowerShell and you can hit enter. And uh, the, Power the PowerShell command is better than like the run command. I mean, by far, uh, it does a whole lot more stuff. I don't come to be an expert in it, but I did have to research this to figure out that this is what I needed to do to test, to test my, um, my new computer build. So anyhow, so when you type in this uh, WinMIC and you hit enter, it's gonna it's gonna give you these values here. It's gonna give you the data width and then the total width. So traditionally, if you were looking at like say gaming RAM, um, both columns here would would have 64 in it, right? And the fact that 72 is in the total width means that it's ECC RAM. So that's good. Like first check. Let's try this next one now. This is gonna give us um, a, a value between zero and seven that will also um, tell us if we're running ECC RAM or not. So um, when we uh, type in this command, um, we get the memory error correction um, value six. And so if we look at this chart, this value meaning of this command, you can see that zero is reserved, one is other, two is unknown, three is none. Four is parity, uh, five single bit ECC, six, which is what we have, multi bits EC, and seven CRC. So, what this tells me by typing in both these commands is that two is recognizing that it's ECC, ECC memory, and then that three is recognizing that it's multi bit ECC memory. So, like, I'm double checking myself that everything is working the way it should. That way, when I run very particular software, um, you know, that, uh, I'm getting the best sort of, um, hardware experience and, 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 uh, um, user experience possible, right? Uh, reducing the number of crashes, eliminating any bugs or problems. Um, everything's running faster, simulations running better and so on. So that's what you can expect with the ECC RAM, totally worth the upgrade. But on the hardware side, it's a lot harder to put, to put it, to put together your own computer that, um, that uh, like checks all the boxes per se. So there's a lot of work that goes into that um, and a lot of reading before you actually uh, click the buy it now buttons. So anyhow, um, this is my quick tutorial on PowerShell and checking for ECC. I hope you found this helpful. Please like and subscribe and we'll see you next time. Fight on.